creating a histogram. We talked about this a little bit last week, but a histogram is very, very similar to a bar graph. But instead of every single category getting its own bar or its own little count, we sort of put them in groups, okay? So histograms are gonna be just like a bar graph, but it's gonna be more of a count than every single car, for instance, getting its own bar. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. A bar graph would have a section for all 11 cars and they would go up to how much that car weighs, okay? A histogram is gonna sort of take all that data and make it a little bit more general. Um, so if we go to our paper, we're gonna draw a graph and on the y-axis is always going to be the frequency, which is just literally counting how many times is something happening. And now down here, since we're gonna start with number one with car weights, down here is going to be the car weight. Now, when you create a histogram, you are gonna to have to decide how to create this x-axis going up. What intervals do we want to make? How big do we want each uh, little bin down here to be? So if I look up here, all of the cars, they seem to be pretty close. They're all between 935 to 1880. So I'm going to make mine go up by 100s, okay? I'm going to start at 900, and I'm going to go up by 100s here. 1000, 1100, 1,200, 1,300, and continue on. You guys can choose your own. Now I see here it stopped at 1,700, but if I look at my numbers, my biggest number goes up to 1,800. So I need a couple more here, okay? I'm making 1,800, and one last one at 1,900, okay? Now we're gonna count the frequency. Up here, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So we're gonna create the frequency of how many times do we have a car between these two numbers? So if my first one is between 900 and 1,000 pounds, sorry, nine, yeah, 900 and 1,000. So how many cars weigh between 900 and 1,000? If I look at my data, I only see the one car between 900 and 1,000. So I'm gonna come up here, and that first bar is going to go from 9 to 1,000, and it's going to go up to 1. And I'm going to put a little 1 in there so I know there's only one car. My next little bin is 1,000 to 1,100. So if I look up here, I don't have any. It goes straight from 935 to above 1,100. So I will have nothing between 1,000 and 1,100. My next category 1,100 to 1,200. I see here, I have one, two options, because then that goes above. So I have two cars that are in between 1,000 and 1,000, uh, sorry, 1,100, 1,200. So I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna make that one go up to two. And I'm gonna make the bar the entire width from 1,100 to 1,200, and there are two cars in there. Now between, 1200 and 1300. I just see the one, because then that's above 1300. So I just have one. So I'm just gonna continue that from here to here to one. All of the bars in your histogram should be touching if you noticed. Bar graphs have some separation, histograms do not. Next, 1300 to 1400. I just see one, two cars there. So I'll make that entire bar go up to two and label it so it's clear. There's nothing in between 1400 and 1500. And I have one, two cars between 1500 and 1600. Okay. And then I have nothing between 1600 and 1700. And then I have one, two, three cars in between 1800 and 1900. So between 1800 and 1900, we're going all the way up to three. And there we go, there's a histogram. I can see how many cars are in between those different weights. This is just counting literally how many cars 
and then we're no in between all of those little weights.